Hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming to our fourth grade open house presentation. We know it's a really busy time of year, so we really appreciate you guys taking time out of your schedules to come spend some time with us this evening and learn a little bit more about what this year is going to look like. We are so excited to have everyone back in person five days a week this year, and we're looking forward to a wonderful time in fourth grade. My name is Miss Irvin, and I'm one of the fourth grade teachers here at Belle Reeve. This is my fourth year teaching and my third year at Belle Reeve, and I absolutely love teaching fourth grade. It is awesome. In my free time, I love to spend time with my family, hike, travel. I just really like exploring new places, and I'm looking forward to a wonderful school year. Hello, my name is Ashley Jelovic, and I am a fourth grade teacher at Belle Reeve Elementary. This is my sixth year at Belle Reeve and my fourth year in fourth grade. I taught virtually last year, and I'm very excited to be back in the classroom seeing the fourth graders every day. I graduated from Missouri State University with a degree in elementary education, and I have master's degrees in both special reading from kindergarten to 12th grade and um, teaching English as a second language. In addition, I am also a certified reading specialist and love helping students um, with the reading in the classroom. Hi, I'm Amber Sanders, and this is my seventh year teaching. I graduated from Miami of Ohio with a degree in early childhood education, and I also have my master's in curriculum and teaching. I am also a certified reading specialist. I'm so excited to be working with your wonderful fourth graders this school year. Here's a little day in the life of a fourth grader. So we always come in, students can have breakfast if they want to go grab that in the morning. Then we do our morning meeting, we have writing, and then we have specials. Then after that, we always have snack and read aloud. And then we move into math. And then the independent reading time right before lunch and recess. And then we move into our reading workshop. And then after reader's workshop, we do word study. And then we have rotation. And in this year, fourth graders are all going to strings with Mrs. Henderson. So we have strings twice a week. And that's during that rotation period. We also rotate and go to library once a week as well. And last but not least, we finish our day with either science or social studies. This quarter, which goes until the end of October, we will be focusing on a few different units across um, the curriculum in fourth grade. In reading, our unit is called interpreting characters. During this unit, fourth graders will be focusing on understanding characters, character traits, and the theme. In writing, our unit is called the arc of a story. We will be focusing on writing realistic fiction stories. And in math, our unit is place value, and we will be learning the foundation of place value, addition, and subtraction. Then we will be moving into multiplication. It is important that our students are learning and practicing their basic facts, both in addition, subtraction, and multiplication. We know that in fourth grade, each student needs different things in order to be successful and learns differently. So some ways that we will be meeting your child's individual needs this school year will look like small group instruction after a mini lesson. So this happens daily and might look like reteaching what was just provided in the mini lesson or providing enrichment or extension activities in reading, math, and writing. We'll also be working one-on-one -on -one with students weekly um, to meet their needs in every subject areas and assessing students both formally and informally. And those formal assessments will be kept in their leadership binders, which will be going home on early release days. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later on in this presentation. Next up, we have technology tips. Each fourth grader does have their own individual Chromebook this school year. It's really important, just like what we said at the very beginning of the school year, those Chromebook expectations, they're treating them with respect, not adding anything to the case, and they're keeping that gumdrop case on so it helps protect the Chromebook. Along with this, you should have received an email from Parkway Technology about Chromebook insurance, and you need to make sure that you either opt in or you opt out, or else the Chromebook will be frozen until a choice is made. In addition, we do teach digital citizenship at Belle Reeve. Our fabulous librarian teaches di digital citizenship lessons, and we also teach them in the classroom as well. Some things that your fourth grader might use at home would be Dreambox to practice their math. Another one would be Typing Agent, and they can access all of this through Clever. 
And then the last thing that's really important is Schoology, and I'm going to show you on the next slide just what Schoology looks like and when we will be using this. All right, so this is what Schoology looks like. Students can access Schoology just by typing in Schoology up in their Chromebook, or also they have a Parkway little bookmark tab that they can click, then click Schoology very easily. Fourth graders do know how to access Schoology, so if you need any help, please ask them and they can open up their Chromebooks and get you there very quickly. As a parent, you also have access to Schoology, so make sure that you have that login information. And if you need any help with that, please reach out. So we're just gonna go up here to courses and you're gonna click on the welcome to fourth grade. And like I said earlier, your fourth grader can definitely help you navigate how to get to Schoology. So when you get on here, some really important things. The student checklist is really important. If your fourth grader is ever quarantined, this checklist will be clicked. If you click on this, the checklist will give you a breakdown of exactly what they need to do each day. And that'll be communicated through their teacher as well. But that's where that would be. Um, here are some Zoom links for us, just in case if we would ever need to be on Zoom. That's where you would find our Zoom links. We also have access to Mrs. Beal's fabulous library Schoology page, which would be right here. And then you can see another copy of our class schedule, how to contact your teacher, and just some basic class information. Um, down here, we use a lot of this in class, but also if a student is quarantined, we would also be using Schoology to post different assignments on here as well. Um, students know how these folders are organized. We try to keep it very simple in the fact that it's all based on subjects. So if we're in reading, they know to go ahead and just click on a reading folder and then click on where they need to go. Um, if you have any questions about Schoology, please don't hesitate to reach out. One last little important technology tip. Our fourth graders have done a wonderful job so far, but to continue to encourage them to charge their Chromebooks every single night just to get that habit, we know they can do it. We really appreciate your partnership with that. Bell Reeve is a leader in me lighthouse school. That means we follow the seven habits. Each month, we will be focused on a different habit. Our building theme this year is the Olympics. So each month we'll have a different Olympic theme to go with the habit. Each student will have um, the habit tree that you see on your right in their leadership binder. You will see how there are seven habits. They start out with habit one at the bottom and grow to habit seven on top. At Belle Reeve, we love to see students being leaders at school and at home. Here are a few ways you can promote the healthy habits at home. On the far left, you will see an all-star leadership at home form. On this form, you can fill out how your child was being a leader outside of school. If you don't have the form or don't know where it is, feel free to email your child's teacher with how they were being a leader. We love to celebrate leadership both at home and at school in our classroom. In the middle here, you will see an example of a Habits at Home update. You will receive these about once a month. There are suggestions and ways about how your child can live out the habits while at home. On the far right, you will see an example of a leadership binder. Each fourth grader will have a leadership binder that will go home about once a month. Inside the leadership binder, you will see data that they are collecting, such as reading levels, how they are increasing their math facts, victories that they are celebrating, and more. We encourage you to look over these with your child when they come home. We will be having early release days this year instead of late start days. We're really excited about this. Um, these days are going to focus specifically on leadership, learning the habits, and synergizing with others. And these days, um, leadership binders are going to come home with your fourth grader, and that will be a fun time for them to show you some of their victories, some things they're working on, some goals that they're setting, um, and celebrate with you. We are also thinking of ways to get back into doing lead time, our buddy time, and service learning. We are just kind of in the process of figuring out how to get creative with these as they will probably need to be virtual for right now. We absolutely love having your fourth grader here every day. So if they are healthy, please make sure that they are at school. Um, if your child is not feeling well, 
Um, and if they have any COVID-like symptoms, please alert Nurse O or Dr. DeBosch so that they can work through the contact tracing process. And our goal is just to keep everyone here safe and healthy. So we really appreciate your partnership with that. Um, if for any other reason your fourth grader is not going to be at school, please make sure that you contact the attendance line um, or your child's teacher to let them know why they will be out. And we also really appreciate that if at any day your child is getting sent home a different way, maybe they're normally a bus rider, but they're going to be a car rider, that you are letting your child's teacher know as long with the office so that we can have um, our dismissal plans all ready to go. Thank you so much. Up next is the calendar. This school year, we have early release and half days, so it's really important that you have access to the Parkway Schools calendar and that you're marking those dates in your calendar as well. On an early release day, students will be dismissed at 2 p.m. On a half day, they'll be released at 1.05. You can access the Parkway Schools academic calendar on the Bell Reeve website or Parkway's website as well. Up next, another important thing, just staying organized would be our weekly news is emailed every Friday. Um, along with that, Dr. DeBosch sends a weekly update. And also we have our Bell Reeve Digital Family Hub that has tons of important information and different ways that you can help connect to the habits at home. If you need any help accessing that, you can always check the weekly update. Dr. DeBosch always updates the Digital Hub in her updates. Along with this, just a few other reminders. Make sure if you wanna order a leadership shirt for your fourth grader that you do that. The paperwork was sent home and I believe you can do that online. If you need any help or need another piece of paper for the leadership shirt, please reach out to your teacher and we would be happy to help you. One last thing would be the paperwork and forms. Make sure as those are sent home, there was that yellow dismissal form that's really important um, to make sure that you get that sent back to school. And again, if you need another copy, please reach out. Thank you.